hearing my voice on the left side. Now you should be hearing my voice on the right side. You are all set. Enjoy the presentation. Welcome to the Dexable Life video broadcast. Good speakers or headphones will improve your listening experience. Let's take a moment for setting up your system. First we will confirm that the YouTube setting is on highest quality available. Now you should be hearing my voice on the left side. Now you should be hearing my voice on the right side. You are all set. Enjoy the presentation. Welcome to the Dexable Life video broadcast. Good speakers or headphones will improve your listening experience. Let's take a moment for setting up your system. First we will confirm that the YouTube setting is on highest quality available. Now you should be hearing my voice on the left side. Now you should be hearing my voice on the right side. You are all set. Enjoy the presentation. Welcome to the Dexable Life video broadcast. Good speakers or headphones will improve your listening experience. Let's take a moment for setting up your system. First we will confirm that the YouTube setting is on highest quality available. Now you should be hearing my voice on the left side. Now you should be hearing my voice on the right side. You are all set. Enjoy the presentation. Welcome to the Dexable Life video broadcast. Good speakers or headphones will improve your listening experience. Let's take a moment for setting up your system. First we will confirm that the YouTube setting is on highest quality available. Now you should be hearing my voice on the left side. Now you should be hearing my voice on the right side. You are all set. 
Enjoy the presentation. Welcome to the Dexable Life video broadcast. Good speakers or headphones will improve your listening experience. Let's take a moment for setting up your system. First we will confirm that the YouTube setting is on highest quality available. Now you should be hearing my voice on the left side. Now you should be hearing my voice on the right side. You are all set. Enjoy the presentation. Welcome to the Dexable Life video broadcast. Good speakers or headphones will improve your listening experience. Let's take a moment for setting up your system. First we will confirm that the YouTube setting is on highest quality available. Now you should be hearing my voice on the left side. Now you should be hearing my voice on the right side. You are all set. Enjoy the presentation. Welcome to the Dexable Life video broadcast. Good speakers or headphones will improve your listening experience. Let's take a moment for setting up your system. First we will confirm that the YouTube setting is on highest quality available. Now you should be hearing my voice on the left side. Now you should be hearing my voice on the right side. You are all set. Enjoy the presentation. Welcome to the Dexable Life video broadcast. Good speakers or headphones will improve your listening experience. Let's take a moment for setting up your system. First we will confirm that the YouTube setting is on highest quality available. Now you should be hearing my voice on the left side. Now you should be hearing my voice on the right side. You are all set. Enjoy the presentation. Welcome to the Dexable Life video broadcast. 
Good speakers or headphones will improve your listening experience. Let's take a moment for setting up your system. First we will confirm that the YouTube setting is on highest quality available. Now you should be hearing my voice on the left side. Now you should be hearing my voice on the right side. You are all set. Enjoy the presentation. Welcome to the Dexable Life video broadcast. Good speakers or headphones will improve your listening experience. Let's take a moment for setting up your system. First we will confirm that the YouTube setting is on highest quality available. Now you should be hearing my voice on the left side. Now you should be hearing my voice on the right side. You are all set. Enjoy the presentation. Welcome to the Dexable Life video broadcast. Good speakers or headphones will improve your listening experience. Let's take a moment for setting up your system. First we will confirm that the YouTube setting is on highest quality available. Now you should be hearing my voice on the left side. Now you should be hearing my voice on the right side. You are all set. Enjoy the presentation. Welcome to the Dexable Life video broadcast. Good speakers or headphones will improve your listening experience. Let's take a moment for setting up your system. First we will confirm that the YouTube setting is on highest quality available. Now you should be hearing my voice on the left side. Now you should be hearing my voice on the right side. You are all set. Enjoy the presentation. Welcome to the Dexable Life. The presentation will start in 5, 4, 3.
Hi, everybody. Good evening on uh, this beautiful Sunday. Good morning to the people in US. Good night to the people east of us in uh, Asia. Um, I'm very, very happy to be online again uh, at this Mother's Day. So uh, lots of love to all our mothers around the world. It's Mother's Day today. So we have to draw the heart. All right, so nice to see you all here. And I can, I'm already so many questions are popping in. So let me, before jumping into anything, let me start uh, by answering a couple of questions because today's subject is organ sounds. So we will have a look at the um, tone wheel sounds or as some people refer to as clone wheel sounds. And we will have a, a look at transistor organ sounds and of course at pipe organ sounds. So let me, let me check uh, the, some of the questions that have been popping in. Okay, so this is from, uh, from Vibor. Um, can you explain please how to use import and save to organ user sounds banks? Yes, um, I will do that in the running of the program. Um, we will have, um, because I installed um, the harmonium and the symphonic organ and I can show you how you find them on the web and as a shortcut how to install them. Then there is... Uh, was another question that I wanted to refer to. Um, memory question. So there is uh, also Lee. Um, I will I will go into the subject of uh, of course tone wheel sounds, uh, clone wheel sounds, um, kind of what I like to call different ages of uh, uh, of uh, tone wheel uh, sounds, etc. Pipe organ sounds. Um, Theo theater organ sounds is a very, very particular and special subject. We can kind of uh, emulate, let me call it emulate, a little bit in the direction of theater organ. One of the specifics of theater organ sound is the tremolo, the tremulant. We do have a tremulant, however, I'm not so sure if the algorithm is absolutely matching to the theater organ sound, but I will try an experiment with the theater organ uh, a little later. In this uh, in this round, okay. Let me recap at this moment what we have been doing so far. We have learned in the first one how to um, update, upgrade our operating system. So if you need to have or if you want to have more information about this one, you can always go back uh, to the webinar number one. They are on the YouTube channel of Dexable. And these, of course, these interview, um, these uh, informations are always accessible and always there for you. And um, also, we have seen uh, rearrangement of memories, so you can change the list of to uh, tones and also the list of your settings. In short, um, if five minutes before going on stage, the singer decides uh, on changing the first song, you can instantly re rearrange the order of your memory performances. It's very easy, it's very quickly done. Again, you can ref uh, refer to uh, the webinar number one from 29th of March. I'm explaining how to do that there. Then uh, we learned how to load and install sounds. We will have a little bit of a look into that today with, uh, with the organ sounds um, because it was one of the questions, so I want to jump back there in the running of the program. Then we have had a deep uh, insight into the T2L engine, into the piano sounds. So uh, for this reason, um, no, let me let me say something uh, else before jumping in there. Uh, today's instrument that I'm using um, is the Combo J7. It's a beautiful, beautiful instrument with um, mo motorized. Uh, what is my mouse doing? Motorized draw faders, as you can see. We'll have a look into that. It's having a waterfall key action. Waterfall key action is specific uh, for organ uh, playing. Let me see if I can show this to you here. So uh, organ playing style is a lot of like glissando, stuff like that. Let me get an organ sound ready here for you. So there's a lot of these 
stuff going on if you're doing this uh, on a um, <laughs> sorry <laughs> hi Jay <laughs> I, w I wanted to <laughs> sorry I have to, to smile now that's really that's really nice um, uh, organ playing technique is uh, a lot of uh, glissandi and stuff like that and also uh, let me see fast repetitions <laughs> Stuff like that, so uh, it's much easier to do that on a uh, waterfall key action rather than a piano action. So that's for me today's reason for choosing the Combo J7. And in the Combo J7, we do have the organ engine, but we also do have the complete uh, Dexable T2L piano engine. Also, the instrument is um, the, the same sound engine, the same features you will have in the Vivo S9, including the uh, motorized draw faders, but again on an 88 note uh, weighted uh, hybrid wooden key action. Fantastic instrument. We will get there eventually, so no worries at all. So let me jump back to here. Um, so uh, there was another question that I'd like to refer to. Uh, let me just try to find it again. Organ sense, I already tried that. Okay, now I think we are good at this moment. Um, and I'd also like to welcome the Dexable team in the background. Um, we are communicating during this webinar and they will answer also a couple of your questions. Uh, more of the technical questions, I will take care a little bit more of the mus musical questions. So, um, to make the recap of what we have done uh, before in the last uh, couple of webinars, I want to go through the T2L piano engine one more time because, you know, the good news is, despite the fact that this is an organ with a waterfall key action, the complete piano engine is inside. I give you this one. So in the, <coughs> in the webinar before, I have been using this beautiful piano sound, the Italian grand. I have also been using the Dexable signature sound, the uh, Vivo grand. And uh, I want to use this sound again to go uh, for going a little bit into the T2L engine. So I completely eliminate it. As you can see, any reverb is off. You can see it's off, switched off here. And also the multi-effects reverb at this moment is on off. So if I'm playing staccato, what you hear is not the reverb, is one of the features and one of the great things in the Dexable T2L engine, and that's the staccato resonance. <laughs> then jumping quickly into the T2L, we have the possibility to adjust and tweak. Hammer noise, key off noise, mechanical noise of the keys. You can hear that. Then also, of course, damper pedal noise. I'm using the damper pedal. All these noises, of course, are uh, dynamic. So uh, hitting stronger, hitting softer has an influence even on the pedal. Then uh, the string resonances. These are the resonances when I'm doing a silent touch. The overtones, the harmonics. Here are all the overtones that and I can actually turn the level of these up or down in accordance to my personal taste. And also, and here of course the damper resonance, which gives you like that uh, beautiful resonance of the high, uh, of the high, of the high notes um, in the acoustic piano. Then we have exactly the same thing for the upright piano. Again, I cut the reverb. 
And again, staccato playing gives you that staccato resonant tone that is imminent for the, um, for the upright piano. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, and uh, then we have the different types of uh, piano sounds, in this case, like the uh, uh, pop grand. So let me, uh, I just hit the wrong pedal here. Let me try that again. Beautiful. Bringing in the layered sound. In the decibel instruments, I can layer two, three, and four sounds. Very rich, very beautiful sound. Then we have covered the uh, memory piano sound, and the memory piano sound is actually a piano sound with a filter on top. So if I'm opening the filter, sound becomes more bright. This is a sound I would use for, for uh, maybe screen music, sound design, or for just playing an echo. Sorry, you cannot see my right hand. <laughs> I put a split point up here. Camera angles is still an issue here in my uh, room, um, broadcasting from home, still broadcasting from home. I was in this uh, webinar, I was trying to focus on the left part so you can see the motorized draw faders all the time. Then stuff like that I played with the Italian grand uh, blended together with a... Um, with a uh, electric piano. And now I want to kind of mute the grand piano. So I'm using here the mute button. And this is compatible with our leg uh, legacy instruments S3, S7, P3, P7. So muting the grand unmuting it very very nice very easy to use then we just go quickly through the electric pianos and I'm starting with the electric grand Or this one. Right, so electric grand, absolutely. The Wurlitzer. Just again, no effects, no reverb, nothing, just the pure sound. And in the T2L, again, hammer noise. But this time from the Wurlitzer sound, key off noise is the mechanical noise of the key action. Can you hear that? When I crank it all the way up, it's amazing. Then the um, damper pedal noise, but this time of course from the Wurlitzer. And then we have the cabinet resonance. What is the cabinet resonance? Let me turn that off and turn it on. Can you hear? Yeah, this is the cabinet resonance. And then on, on top of tweaking the sound here, I can have some effects, like a tremolo. In this region on the keyboard, we have those knobs where I can real-time tweak, like the uh, intensity of the tremolo. That's a little bit over the top. Let's get back to... And of course, also the tremolo speed. Then going to the second effect in line, we have the overdrive. Let's 
jump back to the overdrive one more time and really crank it up. It was like a broken amp then. Let's go back to a more reasonable. Right. At this um, at this point, I'd like to uh, show you because this is not a piano key action; it's an organ action. I show you how I can adjust the keyboard touch to my personal feeling. So in this uh, in this when I'm when I'm playing the J7, I usually go in the keyboard touch. Let me show you how I'm getting there. Menu setting, keyboard touch, heavy plus. Right. The uh, velocity doesn't affect the organ sound anyway, it's just affecting the piano sound. And the cool thing in the Dexable OS, we can go into the velocity and draw our personal velocity curve. So this, that's usually kind of my setting, <coughs> sorry, with the J7 Heavy Plus and that kind of uh, shapey curve here to be able to pull off the piano dyna <coughs> dynamics on this uh, waterfall action keyboard. Then one of the most famous uh, uh, sounds for the usage of the Wurlitzer. I think you know that song and it's done by using a chorus and an overdrive. Then we have the clef. And you can hear these note off sounds going into the T to L. I can even over exaggerate. That's probably a little bit over the top. A little bit more hammer noise. And I'm using a wah wah and an overdrive here. So if you want to go deeper into all these electric pianos, this is covered in one of the webinars that I've been doing before. In this one, I just want to go through everything in a nutshell to arrive at the organ sound, um, tweaking and enjoying very, very soon. Rock piano, this is uh, from a digital, um, a digital uh, let me call it digital vintage piano. <laughs> Also, I can here have some effects. Then we have the very typical FM kind of sound. Layered with two synth sounds, I bring them in with my expression pedal. And here we go. And of course, everyone knows this. This one. Yeah. Then, Mark One. So this is a um, a, uh, a Rhodes piano. Very beautiful. Effects are available. Tremolo. This time the typical Rhodes tremolo in stereo. You can hear, it's jumping between the left and right channel now. Yeah. And uh, effects B, again, an overdrive. Let's crank it up. there is a lot of famous songs that have been played with these uh, road sounds just like this one that's so cool isn't it and there's just a question popping in that I'd like to refer to this is Lee um, no worries at all that's called, exactly, here comes the answer. 
uh, frequency modulation. That is a that is a very uh, specific so um, sound engine, uh, digital sound engine. Uh, if you Google FM sound or frequency modulation, you will for sure uh, find uh, a lot of information about that. Anyhow, we refer to this as a digital um, a digital electric piano. Thank you, Jay, for jumping in. I'm not supposed to say the Y word anyway. So that's where it comes from. Here you go. Um, okay, back to where I've been. I'm jumping into the, uh, the Mark I. I think you remember that song. And I, I heavily tweaked this sound because usually it sounds like that it sounds like this. And I made this out of it. For this kind of song, right? So again, if you want to go deeper into that, I showed exactly how to do that in one of the last in one of the last sessions that I have done here. Then uh, merging piano sound and uh, electric piano sound again. And uh, going back to one of my favorite songs ever um, from Al Jarreau, not like this. And I'm using the uh, electric piano Mark I the bell chorus sound and it's giving me nearly the <laughs> nearly the original sound from the record and now i'm blending in with my expression pedal you see there's a layered sound here Then I use this sound, and this one I use usually also for the presentation of um, seamless patch change. Now jumping to another patch without losing the notes. And then we jump to the synthesizer very quickly. Three split zones, everything cool here. Filters. More synth. sounds are coming from the analog synth library from our webpage uh, and again I went deep inside all this before so no worries about that then we have you remember this song right and uh, some uh, and some so I have four split zones literally and this is the one, unfortunately, you cannot see here. Then synth and clough. Etc, etc. Anyhow, point being is... Point being is that this is a combo J7 our digital organ, but it has the full piano engine, the full um, the full Dexable T2L engine inside also. So there's a lot of things going on in this instrument. 
Let me briefly, uh, oh, there's a question that might be interesting. Did you have an answer to my question about, about uh, this is David. Uh, David, I will get there. Um, I want to do that in the run of my program and I will try to answer as, as good as possible. Okay, I, I, I hope I don't forget. If I'm getting too much carried away, please remind me to answer that. Thank you very, very much. All right, so uh, then let's briefly break down the, um, the, the intro song I played. I played something with a pipe organ. Let me show you how that looks like. Here we go. And I also played this one. All right, this is uh, from Emerson. So I just want to briefly break that down for you. So you can see on the display, I'm using actually four parts here. On the left side, it's the synth lead number five and the organ sound, okay? So, uh, and I'm usually using the lower hold, which holds the notes down here. So I have my fingers free to do all the tweaking, right? Draw bars. Let's start the rotary. And rotary again. Right, so this is the... Um, that's actually the combination that uh, I have used uh, in the uh, in the opening song. One more time, organ sound, separated from the rest, with a split point on the left side, and you can see already on the moving drawbars here, when I go between upper and lower, I always see what is actually happening here. Um, I'm, I'm many times getting asked why, why do we have, uh, why do we have motorized drawbars? Is that something, is that something we really need? And I say absolutely yes. Let me give you one example uh, that will refer if we wouldn't have motorized drawbars. Okay, so if I'm changing these two sounds, you can see it's completely moving with me. If I wouldn't have, so um, if I wouldn't have motorized drawbars, let me show this to you by simply switching them off. So you can see on the display, that the sounds are changing, but the, uh, the drawbar situation is remaining. So you wouldn't have actually an idea where you are. And uh, if you want to kind of interact with this setting, it's, giving you a, it's not giving you the real situation. So let me switch on the motorized draw faders again. And when I'm doing the same thing here. <laughs> You see? And you always, you always see what you actually get. It has already become kind of a beloved tradition that in each webinar I'm introducing to you one person from behind the scenes. He was born in the region of Marche in Italy. He went to college to pursue his passion for computer science and graduated on the thesis of a software for remote teaching music using the internet and MIDI live streaming. Today's reality, especially now in a lockdown situation. Also, he is a musician, studied electronic organ when he was 11, but apart from still playing and making music in small groups, he decided to take more interest in electronics rather than in practicing scales. He's dedicating his work now to supporting musicians all around the world by creating the most beautiful sounds. 
He used to work for the European subsidiary of a famous Japanese brand that used to be situated in Aquaviva Picena, the place where Dexibol is located today. And ladies and gentlemen, today he's with us, Mr. Guido Gennari. Hi. Guido. Hi, good morning. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> how, good morning. How, how are you doing? It's a very difficult moment, but we are reacting well, and we hope that everything can go back to normal, or at least that the new normal will be not so bad. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I, I understand. Sim similar situation here. So uh, I think from all around the world, we, of course, look to our beloved Italy, and uh, we hope that you will recover very soon and very strongly. I hope so. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, thanks for being with us today in the uh, Academia d'Exibel. Um, you are playing a significant role in the sound development, also of the organ sound, because today's subject is the organ sounds, right? So um, I remember when I visited uh, <coughs> the R&D, uh, the sound uh, development lab, and I opened the door, sometimes I hear it sounds like... <laughs> like, like this, or like that. <laughs> so, um, this is kind of a, this was a raw data kind of process of uh, developing pipe organ sound. Can you tell us a little bit about all the steps you have to take from booking the cathedral, <laughs> blah, 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 until the, until maybe, until maybe something, something like that? Yes. I mean, that's, that's probably a long step to go, right? Yes, yes, it's true. Uh, sometimes my nightmare was uh, zombie sheep waves <laughs> killing me. <laughs> uh, because recording pipe organ sound is a, a really challenging job. Yes. Just because you have to record a really big instrument using high sensitive microphones because of distance. Yes. And only during the night. I can remember that we normally work after the midnight because through the microphone you can hear people talking outside the cathedral, oh. but also a really decent car, ambulance, even airplanes. And so you have to stop recording oh, even wow. during the night. Wow. So your, your, your working day was actually a working night? So you... Yeah. You went yeah. there probably even after midnight, right? Something after midnight, wow. until the, 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 the morning. Until the first church bell, boom, ringing there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have to stop. <laughs> we have to stop after again. the first church bell. <laughs> so, and this is how and, you... Uh, yeah, please. Uh, sorry, and the recording section can last one week. Depending one week. on how many stops the pipe organ has got. Of course. Uh, after the recording, uh, we select the best wheel between many hours of the recordings, and then we start the filtering job. Just to remove a microphone, white noise from the pipe wind noise that we want to keep together with the harmonic part. Of, of, the course, of course, of course. I, I understand. Uh, amazing. And then yeah. you have a selection from beautiful pipe organ stops that you then can uh, put into our instruments, right? Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's, that's amazing. So um, in uh, Dexable, uh, the instruments have a very flexible sound engine, right? So uh, of course, today we dedicate the webinar to uh, the organ T2L engine that is uh, present in the uh, J7 and the S9. And of course, also the pipe organs from the classical three, but there are also the uh, drawbar and uh, transistor organs in this T2L engine in the J7 and S9. Um, are there organ combination sounds also available for the other instruments such as the S7 Pro, S1, even the module SX7? Yes, of course. We selected and uh, recreated the most famous drawbar combination using uh, pop, rock, jazz music. Uh, in this way, every musician, no matter which style he likes to play, can have the right sound ready to play. Okay, okay that, that, is, that is cool. So if, um, if I would not have uh, an S9, uh, but an mm -hmm. S7 Pro, I would have yes. actually some uh, drawbar combinations or 
pipe organ combinations available that I could install into my instrument? Yes. Okay. Yes. That that is that is They, that's brilliant. That's perfect. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, wonderful. So, um, in there, apart from the um, apart from the J7 S9 and uh, S7 Pro, etc., there is one instrument indexable that stands out a little bit, and that's the Classico L3, right? And yeah. we just have been talking about the challenge of uh, recording uh, <laughs> pipe organ sounds in the L3. L3 is basically focused on pipe organs. Um, yes. uh, what kind of or which pipe organs did you actually record? Because I know there are several pipe organ types. Yes, we have recorded different types of uh, pipe organs in different countries to try and cover the different musical periods. For example, the Baroque organ was recorded in Germany. In France, we recorded the Romantic one, and the others recorded in England and America. Uh, we also recorded an, an harmonium in Italy. The harmonium is a, a not a pipe organ, but a, a reed organ, having a few voices resembling a pipe organ, used mainly to, uh, to accompany choir in religious um, celebrations. Uh, that, is, that, is, that is real traditional instrument, right? Yeah. Um, yeah is, it, is that something that could be compared? Because I remember from my childhood that there are little little instruments with, you have to uh, do this with your feet to, well, yeah, yeah. to so pump this the one, one. You have to move. Uh, you know. So this is the sound we also have in the Dexable library, right? Yeah. And yeah, uh, yeah. this is, first of course, dedication is for L3. But these kind of organ yeah. sounds uh, are also uh, possible to import into J7 and S9, right? Yes, sure. They are actually also available for download to be installed in the Combo J7 and the Vivo S9. Wow, that, that, is, that is really, really cool. So thank you very much, uh, Guido, for being part thank of uh, of our today's uh, Aca Academia Dexible. And uh, the uh, we from all around the world, again, wish you all the best in Italy. And, thank you. Uh, thank you so much. I, we all hope that everything will be cool uh, again See you soon. very soon. Take care. I'm looking forward to my next visit soon, hopefully, <laughs> hey, <there laughs> to the, the R&D labs and to Dexible and Ciao, Guido. Thank you very bye much. Bye-bye. Ciao. 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 All right. Thank you very much, Guido, for, uh, for being with us today. And, of course, this interview has been pre-recorded. Now, back uh, live, I just see uh, some interesting questions popping in. And uh, one I'd like to briefly refer to is Lee. Um, Uh, about 16 uh, foot pipe samples and 32 foot pipe samples. At this moment, we do not have the 32 foot pipe samples. There is a little workaround. Uh, if you really want to have that low, it, depending where on the keyboard you are. So let me just try, let me just go there so you can see what I'm actually doing. Yeah, this is a 16 foot here. And now, if I go one octave below, I kind of, uh, I know it's not the same thing. It's not the same thing as a real 32-foot pipe, but it's at least a workaround that we can, uh, I hope, survive. All right, so, uh, okay, that's a wrong picture here. Let me jump here. Perfect. And um, you see on the screen now here, we have the... Um, We have the iPad again connected to the instrument, and we also covered the iPad in one of our, uh, our last ones, but there's a new part here when you connect the iPad to the Combo J7 or the S7. It's the organ section where you can really see um, where you can really see uh, also the parameters of the organ sound here. Uh, I mean, yeah the parameters of the organ sound, but also the drawbars. And uh, as you know, they are motorized. Let me give you an example here, because it's really nice how these things follow each other. Let's see if I can give you this screen right. So you see I'm having my iPad here. And if I'm moving the draw fader, 
on the iPad, you see the motorized draw fader is completely following me. Of course, uh, this is great, this is beautiful, and in one of the next uh, webinars we will be covering um, we'll be covering the connection audio MIDI to a DAW and you can actually record uh, these movements of drawbars when you record a song with the J7 or the S9 and it's going to be uh, played back exactly with all the movements on the drawbars as you've recorded it. Okay, so now is finally the time to jumping into uh, T2L, etc. for organ sounds. So let me start by probably, this is the best picture at this moment, by giving you um, an idea and an overview. So in this case, I have selected Tone Wheel 1. We have Tone Wheel 1 and Tone Wheel 2. These are different models of Tone Wheel instruments. So at this moment I'm working with Tone Wheel 1. We have the drawbars. And no effect whatsoever. So there is no reverb, there is no, um, no uh, rotary speaker simulation, there is no chorus. It's just the pure sound. And now we can really modify the sound and uh, tweak it in the direction of style that we would like to be playing. And uh, there are several parameters for that. So the first one I would like to show to you is the leakage. And cranking that up to max, you should be able to hear that kind of buzzing, that typical buzzing in a uh, tone wheel organ instrument down again. Okay, turning it up. Also the leakage is the fingerprint of that uh, particular uh, tone wheel model that you are actually playing. So if I'm changing to tone wheel 2, you will have a different fingerprint of leakage. So let's jump back. That's about leakage. Humming noise. Hum noise is um, is the f 50 or 60 cycles. Uh, you will hear that noise when you've connected a subwoofer. When I'm cranking it up, there's that low. Yeah, I can hear it on my in-ear monitoring. There's that low uh, buzzing uh, happening. Then one of the really important ones is the click. And there's a click parameter for on and a click parameter for off. So when you release... Let's remove this again. And, and pretend this is kind of a, a new <laughs> uh, tone wheel model with a, a tone wheel instrument with no corrosion, no, no funny thing in the clicks at all. do stuff like that okay so this is still the pure sound with a uh, nothing added just a little bit of leakage a little bit of hum noise let's add some click now let's virtually connect it to an amp overdrive comes in it's too much and overdrive tone gives you a different flavor of overdrive. So with these parameters already you can go deep inside and emulate different amps. Then on top of that we have inside the overdrive algorithm we have an um, EQ. If you want to have that bite in the sound, probably 2 kilohertz is giving you that kind of bite. That's the overdrive. Then, of course, we do have a rotary simulation. Let's get rid of a little bit of the overdrive and make it a little bit more mellow in the meanwhile. Now it's on break. 
it starts rota rotating. And of course, if you go here into the T2L editor again, you can see the parameters for rotary. And this is, uh, let's start here, uh, the rounds per minute for slow, for fast of the horn, the ramp up, the ramp down, and the same thing for the bass rotary speaker. Here are these parameters. And then there's one that I really, really like, and that's the rotary noise. So we also record it. I'm cranking this up now to max, the rotary noise, so you can hear. the real, uh, the wind noise and the belt noise in the rotary speaker. It's that kind of, uh, you know, what we call the art of noise to, um, to have the possibility to have these kind of effects going on. Then, of course, using these parameters, um, T2L, rotary speaker, vibrato, etc., etc., overdrive, I can literally cre create a lot of different uh, tone wheel sounds. Um, yeah, why not? Why shouldn't we do that right away? So that's that. It's this one. Let's look at that. Then it's from the 60s. In the 60s, there was a fashion to have a lot of reverb and maybe even two different uh, tone wheel organs in the band. One connected to the rotary and one not. And they kind of jumped back and forth with this. Then uh, the typical kind of Walter Wonderly sound. This kind of sound then uh, used in French ballads. Then this one, I'm sure you remember. Then this one, you will rem remember this one as well. So this is just, I made these kind of sounds by just tweaking with the parameters um, in the T2L engine in the organ. So next thing that we are very happy about because we can do this due to our motorized draw faders is the morphing function. So I kind of created two patches here. So if I'm changing them and I'm changing those patches by using the pedal. So I have three pedals connected. One is a expression pedal, one is a morphing pedal, we get there in a minute, and one is a switch pedal where I can change see when I'm changing the patches that the drawbars are moving uh, automatically and this gives you the possibility to stay hands-free here the drawbars are doing that kind of step behavior duck, 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 like that and this is emulation of the eight steps that are in the original drawbar instrument I can use the morphing connected to my second expression pedal. Let me show how that works. So there is an upper uh, and uh, from and a 
two settings. So if I'm jumping back with my pedal, I'm doing this at this moment with my left foot, then I get all these. And you see if I'm going slow, it's going step by step. If I'm going fast, it's going really fast and smooth. Then we have the percussion. I'm bringing in some drawbars now with my pedal. I can also have the percussion on the left side and this is emulating a playing style where you play with your left hand on the upper keyboard. So let me show you how that works. I go into the T2L editor and I'm scrolling down and here is percussion manual upper. Or lower. And that is kind of playing a two manual instrument, left hand, upper keyboard. Can do. So kind of a heavy sound uh, with a lot of overdrive and percussion on the left side, this kind of playing. Then let's move to the transistor organ. And here we, again we made a really, really detailed emulation because this transistor organ, it didn't have, um, it didn't have um, drawbars but uh, tilt, tilt stops I think it's called. So it's switching on and, and off, right? I have three parts, split point. Of course I can uh, have vibrato. Let's use stronger vibrato. So also this vibrato emulation is from that particular model. Then we have another type of transistor organ. And in this type of transistor organ, we have the drawbars here again. And then we have the two different wave types, right? Bright wave. Soft wave. And this is probably well known. That's connected to a rotary, some overdrive. Here we go. And then we can also uh, load, and this is probably a good moment to refer to the um, to the instruments of Dexable that doesn't that don't feature the um, the tone wheel engine. We have created uh, drawbar combinations like this one that you can also load into your um, S3. S7, Pro or Legacy, P3, P7, also the home models and the SX7. You can do this with uh, 
with loading the sounds. Then I use this kind of sound to make a wah-wah organ. Then we can also combine organ sound and electric piano. During all the Academia Dexable broadcasts that we have made so far, I really enjoyed the nice and friendly atmosphere that we're having here. Now the question was, how can we stay in touch between the broadcasting sessions? I initiated the Facebook group, Ralph Plays Dexable. Here we can exchange ideas and information, we can get answers to our questions, and share some sounds and music. Please send a request to join the group directly to Ralph Place Dexibel on Facebook and let's stay connected. Alright, so uh, welcome back. I just played that little clip. Um, as I said in the clip, um, I love the atmosphere with the talk and the questions and answers. And I'd like to maintain this. I'd like to, ma I'd like to maintain this atmosphere uh, when the webinar is, when the broadcasting time is over so we can stay in touch. You can ask your questions there. Maybe some of you know the answer. I will pop in every now and then and uh, also uh, take care of your questions. I might go live every now and then and uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. All right, so um, let's go back to how to install sounds from our web page into, into the combo. And this time we're talking about organ sounds. Here are, is the organ sound the library, and you can see there are all the organ sounds derived from the Classico that I can import into my Combo J7. So all the pipe organ sounds and everything are available, and I can also import these sounds into my S9 in an easy way. How to import sounds? We took care of that. Um, in webinar number two. So if you want to go deeper inside, you can have a look in there. Let's now move briefly to the pipe organ sounds. And uh, I have installed two different user pipe organs. First one is a uh, harmonium. And I just want to answer one of the questions um, of David. Uh, at this moment, there is no way that we can see which which uh, pipe organ type is installed in the user one or two. I think this is a situation that our R&D uh, can rethink and uh, maybe we can come up with a solution for that pretty soon. Jumping back, the user two spot here uh, is a uh, harmonium and this is that kind of little instrument that we have been talking in the interview with Guido where you have to do the pedal thing uh, to to uh, come with a bellow to pump air into the instrument. And that's... is that kind of uh, ceremonial organ, small places. Even some people at home might have this kind of harmonium instrument. And of course, there are different registrations. Let's get rid of that. So you can make your combinations also with the harmonium sound. And let me briefly show to you one more time how this looks on the 
iPad editor. See, so we can go in there. So we, I, I played this, uh, this little. Uh, I think most of you might have heard this one before. So if we go to a slightly larger um, cathedral, let's get rid of this one. Then it might sound like that. So and this is the uh, baroque pipe organ. time. Like that, even with the full, uh, with the full uh, reverb in the background. So if I change to the symphonic organ with the same setting, it's giving you a different vibe and a different uh, a different feel of sound, there's different pipes, different stops there. So um, it's your choice which uh, pipe organ you actually import into your great instrument. All right. Um, did I take care of most of the questions already? Let me see. That Yeah, I think I actually did. Please come back with more questions. We're still online, we're still broadcasting. And uh, other than that, let me see where I am here. Yeah, that is perfect. Because now is the time for introducing a very, very special guest. Our today's special guest is a very talented musician born in Italy. Due to a heavy flu at the age of five, he got grounded and started to take interest in playing electronic organ, discovering his huge passion for music. Later, he graduated in harmony and composition at the Conservatory of Torino, and not long ago, he received an honorary degree from the China Music School in Shanghai. He is working as a composer and producer of music in various styles. He has performed all over the world and recently attended the national contest Rising Star Indonesia, where he reached the final rounds, which gave him a lot of media attention in many Asian national TV channels. And today he's our special guest. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Academia Dexibel, official demo artist of Dexibel and Asian TV star, Mr. Mauro Goya. Ciao Mauro. Ciao Ralf. How are you? Oh, fine. I'm very fine. Thank you very much. Berlin, we still have some restrictions, but we uh, it's getting slowly better. And springtime, of course, is dramatically kicking in, so we have beautiful weather. And it's nice to at least look out of the window sometimes. Yeah, you're right. Also, yeah, roughly the same. same. More and more, we say we can see the light in the end of the tunnel. Okay. And also, I believe something like a psychological uh, sentence that uh, every darkness, even the darkness the night has got its own sunrise. So we have to keep the faith that we will be out very soon. Very soon. <laughs> yeah, let's all keep uh, the fingers crossed around the world that we can get to a situation that is at least kind of recovered normal yes yes right okay thank you for being with us uh, in the academia at Exibel today as a special guest i'm very happy about that so um mauro today's subject is organ sounds right um and amongst many other things that you do musically you are a real expert in playing um classical pipe organ and um for the instrument you play, you will play for us today. You chose the uh, Dexibel Classico L3. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that cool instrument? 
Yes, of course. So as you say, I'm uh, of course I'm a pianist, but I'm also very very fond of organ, pipe organ. When I go around, every time there is the possibility to enter a new church, yes. I usually check. Wow, a pipe organ. So usually I speak with the priest. I ask to be able to play. And then you know when you are at home or you able to you have to do some concert. Yeah, where is the pipe organ? So that's why that's yes. perfect perfect uh, let's say instrument that is uh, not only I would not say simulating the pipe organ. Organs, is really creating a real pipe organ is classical L3. That's you know that, yeah, that's uh, we beautiful. have got inside this instrument five organ sets, and they were recorded from the best, uh, let's say, pipe organs all over the world. Wow. And for me, what is really very, very important is that the possibility to control, even in real time, the reverb, the brilliance of the tone, and you can do directly, is exactly like feeling to be inside a real pipe organ inside a real cathedral wow. yeah, that sounds uh, we're looking already forward to your performance so <laughs> also this means you can of course you don't have an acoustic pipe organ at home but you can practice yes uh, and the good uh, point. work with that and sometimes you play in the church and sometimes you yeah. play in concerts yeah, you know, now I live here, uh, my town is, uh, the name is Pinerolo. I'm the director nice. of the choir in our cathedral. Nice. And so every time we play, we only use the L3. Why? There are many, many important reasons. First of all, nobody uh, understood the difference between the L3 and the real pipe organ also we have. But yes. you know, for a pipe organ, a real one, there are many, many problems about uh, uh, maintenance and also about of the course. possibility to change the tune when the weather is changing. So oh, yeah, for, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's a pity, and L3 is perfectly coming to solve all these kind of problems. The point also very important is that it's got its own speakers, so we can do okay. the rehearsal with the choir at home sometimes or in a small room. That's another that's very important point. That's, yeah. that's perfect. And we are really looking forward to hearing you play now. <laughs> so uh, which, which sounds uh, did you choose for your performance in this case? Yeah, so this time, uh, only for this time, because you know that next time we will also speak about the possibility to use inside L3 the orchestral <laughs> sound, course. but this we don't say now. Yeah, No, we don't say that now. We, 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 I mean, we, keep, we keep our audience curious, right? Yes, of course. Yeah. But up to now, we only use, let's say, the small part. We speak about the pipe organ. This is already one wonderful thing. Let's imagine when it will be combined with orchestra. But uh, let's okay. another chapter. Yeah, we, we will, so, I promise we will get there. I promise to everybody. I know. We will get Just there. Don't forget. Okay. <laughs> so today I chose one uh, sounds of pipe organ coming yes. from a baroque organ. And so it's a combination of what we call the tutti sound, so the yes. big pipes, and the small one. So oh. it's a contrast between, uh, you know, what is a, a kind of a music very aggressive with the sound and something very soft. And the L3 is perfectly fitting with this possibility. Beautiful. And just changing the sound, you know, with the pistons, it's likely like a real pipe organ. So while I'm playing, you will see in the video, immediately you will see uh, that uh, I'm changing the lights because I'm yes. changing the pistons, I'm changing the combination using these buttons. Yeah, the, that is that sounds really 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 cool so uh, uh which uh, musical piece did you choose uh, today for us is it a famous classical pipe organ piece oh, well, I, I hope it will become famous because actually <laughs> i compose it <laughs> you compose it yeah oh actually, you make you making me even more curious <laughs> yeah actually it's true that uh, i'm always very inspired by this l3 because when you put yourself, you put your hands on the L3 and you start getting the sounds of pipe organ. You feel like uh, immediately you want to improvise, you want to listen with the river, you, you feel, you feel inside a big cathedral. So I composed this song that is a kind of, uh, what can we say, uh, fireworks of uh, pipe organs just to show the different color of uh, uh, the sounds using always a Baroque instruments, a Baroque set. Cool, cool, excellent. So you really, you really made us curious to listen to your performance. So, uh, dear guests of the webinar, ladies and gentlemen, is Mr. Mauro Goya, the pipe organ fantasy, his own composition. Let's enjoy that now. <laughs>
Amazing, Mauro. Wonderful. So uh, this was Mr. Mauro Goya performing on the Classico L3. Um, reading the questions and the comments that are coming in, um, the J7 and the uh, S9 have this cap capability already to import the pipe organ sounds. So in the S9 and the J7, you do have the piano engine, you do have the vintage drawbar engine for the clone wheels, you have the uh, transistor organ engine, you have the rotary simulation, you have all the features you need, and on top of that, you can import the pipe organ sounds that are ready for you to play on our website, Dexibel.com. All right, let me give you a preview about what is going to come in the next webinar, which will be taking place May the 24th, uh, another Sunday, uh, 7 p.m. Central European time. So in this, uh, in this session, I will be talking about the audio player, because I don't know if you noticed, so far we have not been using any backing tracks at all, because I wanted you to really be focusing on what is happening in real time, what are the musicians doing, how are the sounds... Uh, and how are the features, etc. So in the next one, we will take care of audio player, and we will also take care of audio connection to iOS device again, and we will take care of uh, master keyboard zones. I call this master keyboard zones part one, because I will have two webinars taking care of that. Part one will be for connecting the X Muir. And um, I think uh, in the um, uh, earlier in this webinar, somebody asked for this kind of explanation webinar. N Sunday, the 24th, I will explain how to use the XMUR and maybe one or two other iOS apps. Before going into the traditional closing song, I would like to show you what I'm actually doing when I play this closing song. I'm going, of course, back to the drawbar engine. Rotary speaker. I change the patches with uh, my foot pedal. You see, I jump back and forth. So this allows me to focus on playing so I don't have to do all the time this kind of thing. I'm having the morphing pedal. Morphing pedal one more time. I can have a from section. This is when the pedal is back. A to section. And with the pedal on my left foot, I can do back and forth with all the steps in between. So a very high expression here. Right pedal for the volume, left pedal for the drawbar, uh, for the drawbar settings. and jumping back between, between two um, registrations for pulling that off. At this moment, thank you very much, guys, for watching. 
please go to Facebook as well. Ralph plays Dexibel. Uh, send me uh, an invitation request and we will stay in touch during the two weeks between the webinars. More info is to come, more Q and A's to be answered, etc., etc. And uh, without any further ado, I'm going to play now my closing tune. Please enjoy. No, I have to say that with the face to you. Please enjoy and uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'm looking forward to seeing you very soon. <laughs>